Hi guys, in this video we're making Blaze the monster truck and I'm going to use some modelling paste. Now I've bought mine ready dyed just to save me having to mix loads and loads of colouring in which can affect the consistency of the paste. So I'm going to start with some black and we're going to start by making some wheels. So knead it so it's nice and soft first and then we're just going to make a little block out of it ready for cutting out. Roll it a little bit, it doesn't want to be too thin, they want to be quite thick wheels. And I've just got a small round cookie cutter. We'll use the straight edge of it, not the frilly edge. And we'll cut that out. So you can see it's quite a thick tire is this one. I'm going to need four of these. I have got the odd little crack in it, which normally I would rub out. But because we're going to put tire treads on it in a little bit, we won't notice the little cracks too much. So I've done all of those. And I want to swing around to push in the centre now. The end of my rolling pin is ideal size wise. But you can use anything that you can think of that's a bit smaller than the wheel and we're going to push that in the middle of each one giving us a nice dint now i have dyed some modeling paste in orange for this one so i've rolled out a thin piece of orange modeling paste which i've dyed this one to the color that i wanted and i'm pushing it into the center of that tire so i'm just using the rolling pin again oh i've got two different ones one's slightly more rounded on the ends than the other one and i'm just going to trim this around the edge so it should be level with the surface of the tire. I'll just try and neaten that off a little bit. I'll neaten that off a little bit more when we add a trim to it shortly. I'm going to put the orange in all the tires and now we're going to use some of the red and we're going to cut out another four circles, this time smaller than the center of our wheel. Just put a little dab of water in there to hold it in place. Push that in there like that. Again, we'll do the same for all of them. This time I'm going to put a small amount of water around the very edge of the orange piece and I want a thin long piece of red now. Now I've had to mix my red modeling paste with quite a bit of vegetable shortening to put it through my clay extruder. You can roll it out by hand if you prefer. I find it a little bit easier to use the clay extruder and don't forget anything I've used in the video I will put in the description box below the video so you can see what everything is and where I've got it from. So I've just put that around the edge and then I'm just adding a little dint into the middle of the red circle and do that on all of them. And that red piece in the middle, I'm now just gonna coat in a thin layer of water. And I've mixed my black and white modeling paste together to get a bit of gray. And we're just gonna roll some tiny, tiny dots that are gonna now be placed in a circle around the red, like that. You see my hands are covered in food coloring. So usually for the body of the car, I would just use my modeling paste, but because I don't have enough time to let it set properly, I'm going to mix my modeling paste with a little bit of Leped, which is another type of modeling paste, which is a little bit different. They both have slightly different properties. So I won't really need to wait for it to set now. So you want quite a large piece in red for the body and we'll try and get it into a little rectangle shape. So it's quite a rough shape at the moment. I've put a slight dint across car with my fingers just working on that rectangle shape and then what I'm going to do is just take a little slice from the back up to that dint that I've put in and take that bit off then using the back of my knife I'm going to add some lines from quite close to the outside edge of the bonnet towards the center I'm going to do that on both sides then I'm going to put a line across the front again I'm just using the back of the knife so that I'm not cutting into it too deep and then I'm using my modeling tool to give him a little mouth. So I've rolled a small piece of red and then we're just going to slice that so it's slightly narrower at one end than the other. And I'm going to cut so I've got a little square shape and this is just going to go on the center of the top of the bonnet. And I'm just flattening off the top, just making sure nothing's too lumpy and bumpy. And I'm just sharpening off the corners of the back just slightly. And I want to make some wheel arches now. So I've got a round circle cutter. And we're just going to push it slightly in so that I get my indentation. And I'm going to cut these out now with a knife. I haven't gone all the way through. So I've gone not quite to the middle of the car. And I'll do this on all of the wheel arches. Just give them a bit of a rub and then neaten off slightly with your fingers. So both of those are now done on that side and we'll do the other side as well. And I'm just going to trim just a little bit off the top, just out of these corners, just behind the bonnet of the car. Just a small bit there. I'm just neatening it up a little bit. I'll do the same at the other side. You might find you don't need to do that if yours is already quite neat. And then I'm rolling another piece of red 
I'm just going to trim it so it's not quite as thick as a centimetre. And we're going to run that along the edge of the wheel arches. And now I'm going to try and cut a shape for the top of the back of the car. So I've rolled a piece of red. It's reasonably thick still. And I want a thin strip in the middle and then it comes out wider at either end. And I'm going to bend that so it's the same width as my car. I'll just test that against there so you can see. I'll put that down for a minute. And then I also want a piece of white. Again, I've left it reasonably thick. And I'm going to measure that against the front of my car. And we're going to cut a little rectangle so it just fits as a windscreen just at the front. And then I'm going to go back to my red piece. So my red piece has had a little bit of time to be firming up. And I'm going to trim either end of that. And just place that on there. Give it a good push down. It should stick. If it doesn't, just add a little bit of edible glue. And I'm just going to try and straighten off the back of my car a little bit. And I'm just going to take a small slice off there to straighten it up. We now want a thin piece of red that's going to go around the edge of our windscreen. Doesn't want to be too thick. Okay, we'll just put that around there like that. I have left my tyres a little while to be firming up because I don't want them to change shape when we put the car on. So I've actually left these overnight and we're going to make the tyre treads. So I've cut a strip of black and then I'm using a square cutter to cut out lots of chevron shapes for my wheel treads. So you can stick them on in the shape as they are or if you want you can change the shape slightly. And I'm going to put a little slit in either side and just sort of pull that out a little bit so it gives me a bit more of a flame-like effect. Now I've completely covered my tyre or the edge of the tyre in water and I'm going to stick on that shape that I've made and you want it so it's just a little bit wider than the width of the tyre. Can you see mine are just wrapping just slightly over the edges? And you want to create quite a few of these shapes, enough that you've got to go around the tyre. And the closer together you stick them to each other, the more of them you've got to make. And I just want a grey circle for the inside of my tyre. Put that in place and I'm going to push some little dints in with the bottom end of my paintbrush. You can spend a bit longer than I have done on it. So I've got the same colour grey now. And I'm just going to roll a sausage shape and then we also want a long thin piece of red so I've just got my modelling paste here so this is my Renshaw's modelling paste for this bit that I've got and I'm going to twist it around the piece of grey that we've just rolled spiralling it around like that and let's trim this down and I'm going to cut this in half and this is going to go on the inside of the tyres so I'm doing this on two tyres so my front tyres I'm not doing it on the back ones and I'm just working out whereabouts this wants to go. So I've only got one tyre ready so far. I've got an iced board, so I've put slight dints in with the tyres so I know where to push them. I'm just using water to put them in place, but you can use edible glue or even royal icing. So I'm going to put all four tyres in place. Make sure you leave a big enough gap in the middle for your car to go, but it doesn't want to be too big that your car falls down the middle. So because it's not too big, I can actually sit the car on the top like that. Now I'm not sticking him in place just yet, I just wanted to check that he fits and that the tyres will hold it up. So I'm using a bit more of the grey that I've got left over now to roll thin and cut a shape for the front grille. It's going to go on the front of the bonnet. I'll push that on there. I'm just going to put a couple of little dints in with my modelling tool. And then we're going to fill the mouth with a piece of black. So roll a long thin piece and again we're going to use the modelling tool to sort of push that into place. Pushing it to the edges of the mouth. Next we're going to do him some lights or eyes. Again in the grey we're going to cut out two pieces, not quite cubes, the straight on three sides and then we'll cut it at a slight angle on the inside of each one. Then with the white modelling paste we're going to cut the same shape but it's going to be slightly smaller so that you can see the grey all the way around the edge. Make sure you stick that in place. And now to make them look more like eyes we've got some blue so I've dyed blue modelling paste rolled a small ball and I've squished it flat with my finger to give me that circle that I need. Again use a bit of water to stick it in place in the centre. And just repeat the same thing with black, only this time the circles want to be a little bit smaller and they're going to go into the centre of each of the blue circles. Now tiny circles in white and just push one of those into each eye. Let's make him look like he's got some teeth. Just roll a tiny piece of white, just make sure it's got a point on either end. And I'm going to drop that into the bottom of the mouth. Just poke it about a little bit with your modelling tool. So we're going to create a similar shape now in white for the top set of his teeth. 
just going to roll it longer this time. Push it into the top of the mouth, giving it a good push down with your modeling tool. In grey, I'm going to roll four circles, just pushing them down with my fingers. I don't want them too flat. And then I want yellow circles inside. So just squish with your finger the round balls to give you the shape. And I'm going to stick these in place on the top of the car. Just make sure that you don't push too hard that that bends down or gives way. If it's easier, you can let the car dry before you add those little lights on the top. And then we're just going to give him his flames on the side. So I've just put a small piece of white on either side, a little bit teardrop shaped. And I'm going to paint it in yellow food colouring. So I'm going to leave the middle bit white and paint a yellow sort of border around the edge of that white piece. Now I've not given it too much detail on here for his flames. If you want to spend a bit longer painting actual flames on there, you can do. So I think he's about done. I'm going to place him on top of the wheels. You can just add a bit of water to the wheels anywhere that they're going to come into contact with the car itself or the monster truck. So I'll put a little bit on each of those. If you're worried it's not secure enough, you can use Royal Icing instead. Place him on there. Now, I would let him set overnight before moving him around too much. Just then you'll know he's stuck in place properly. And there he's finished. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.